Are you looking to create an online store for your business but unsure on the right platform? Well, today we're going to help you identify the best e-commerce platform for your business requirements. Hey guys, welcome back to another comprehensive comparative guide. I hope you're all doing well. Now, today's intention is to break down and compare two popular and leading e-commerce platforms, WooCommerce versus Shopify, and help you identify the best e-commerce platform for you based on your business needs. Okay guys, now just quickly before we go ahead and dive right into this video, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and compare WooCommerce versus Shopify. <music> Okay, so launching right into it, the first distinct difference between these two e-commerce platforms that we need to highlight is the ease of setup. The process of getting started with WooCommerce is more complicated than Shopify. With WooCommerce, you will need to choose a hosting provider like Host Papa and purchase a hosting plan through this provider. Next, you will need to install WordPress, which is a CMS content management system that is used to build your e commerce store. Then, you will need to decide on an appropriate theme for your WordPress site. This could be a free WordPress theme or a premium theme like Divi, which is what we tend to recommend for those that want to build a website with WordPress. And finally, install the WooCommerce plugin so you can turn your WordPress website into an online store. On the other hand, we have Shopify, which takes a few minutes to quickly sign up and launch your online store. Essentially, if you have WordPress experience or open to learning all about the world of WordPress and WooCommerce, then go for gold. However, if you're a complete newbie, then Shopify will be the solid choice for you. Next, we need to look at the ease of use of actually building your website using themes, integrations and adding products. With WordPress and WooCommerce, you have great flexibility in terms of customizing your products or website pages. You have access to hundreds of free and paid themes. The best bet is to go with a dynamic and easy to use premium theme like Divi that we mentioned earlier with its easy to use visual builder. Adding new products is relatively straightforward and integrating payment gateways like WooCommerce payments is a breeze. On the other hand, we have Shopify and similar to WordPress, you have access to free and premium themes. However, not as many as what WordPress has to offer. Although the designing process and customizations of each page is limited compared with WooCommerce, unless you have coding experience. However, this actually makes it easier to navigate and build your website with Shopify's simple content management system. As each theme provides a structure for you to stick to and this makes it very hard to actually mess up your Shopify store. Also with Shopify, you have access to many integrations that sync directly directly with Shopify, making it easy to connect your favorite apps and add extensive features. Unlike WordPress and WooCommerce, that will sometimes cause you a massive headache when themes and integrations called plugins clash and crash. That is why it's important to have a great hosting provider like the hosting provider we use called Hostpapa that can assist you when these issues arise. Shopify, like WooCommerce, has extensive payment gateways that you can simply integrate with your online store. Okay, so essentially WooCommerce will offer more customization flexibility in your overall design and structure of your website. Although you will need to have a level of experience, nothing you can't learn for free on the internet. And Shopify is structured more limited in your design freedom, however more appropriate and user friendly for complete beginners. Now, when it comes to support, WooCommerce has a very limited response team, and therefore you will need to hire a developer, which can be expensive, 
or reach out to your hosting provider. And if you have a good hosting provider like HostPapa, they will support you with their 24 seven live chat. Now compared with Shopify, the support you receive from Shopify is unbeatable. With everything hosted in one place, Shopify offers 24 seven support if you come across any issues. And finally, we need to uncover the costs associated with each e-commerce platform. First, we have WooCommerce with web hosting, which can be around $150 to $200 per year, depending on the web hosting provider you decide to go with. Themes are around $0 to $80, depending if you go for a paid premium theme or a free theme. Then we have payment gateways. A common payment gateway for WooCommerce is WooCommerce Payments, which is between 2.9% to 3.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. Then you might also find you have other annual costs, which include paid plugins if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan with any of the plugins you use. And you also have developer fees, when you have issues with your website or you need to make changes that you can't do yourself, you need to pay a developer. Obviously, this can be between $0 if you have no issues or you don't have any development requirements through to hundreds or even thousands of dollars per year. And then on to Shopify. Shopify hosts everything in one place. So your hosting costs and your operational costs are essentially $29 per month to $79 per month, which is $348 to $948 per year. Then you also have payment gateway fees similar to WooCommerce. These are around 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction with Stripe and PayPal. And then similar to WooCommerce, you might find there are some apps that you want to integrate with your Shopify store. These could be premium apps that you do need to pay monthly. So costs associated to apps can be between $0 to $50 per month. So as you can see, WooCommerce is a more affordable e-commerce platform for those that have WordPress experience. Although in saying that variable costs like developer fees, when you come across any issues can easily surpass the cost of running a Shopify store. Okay, so to sum up our comparison of WooCommerce versus Shopify, we have identified that WooCommerce is more affordable, has more extensive free and paid themes in WordPress, has more flexible customization options and ideal for those with WordPress experience. On the other hand, Shopify is easier to set up, easier to use, has greater support, simple integrations and ideal for beginners. Okay guys, so take the time to decide on the best e-commerce platform for you and your small business based on your requirements and skill level. And there we have it guys, that is it for this comparative guide between WooCommerce and Shopify as leading e-commerce platforms in 2021. Now if you have any questions about this comparative video, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, remember to leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.